you remember that video I did not a while ago where we were all moaning about the lack of recruits for the British Army? Our new Lieutenant General has a brand new idea and it's not going to work very well. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's time for another video and it's time for another article and this time it's time to have another shot at the madness that is the British Army. Right then, so... General behind plans to relax army security checks says force is too hierarchical. That's what the army is. But as you can see, there's Lieutenant General Dame Sharon Nesbeth. is tipped by the future chief of the service. And if she gets in charge all the way through to the top, the army is completely and utterly and unequivocally fucked. Yeah, that's right, by the way. They're relaxing the army security checks so they can get more soldiers in. Because... Um, there's nothing worse than actually doing any security checks to make sure that the people that you're going to give weapons to aren't going to kill people on the same side as them, or each other, or anyone else who happens to be walking past. <sighs> Lieutenant General Naismith was the author of the Army Race Action Plan, which advocates easing security checks to drive diversity. That's right. Let's give people who hate this country the ability to get armed. That would just be absolutely fantastic, you stupid bint. Britain's second most senior general has said that she wants to see less hierarchical behaviour and more empowerment in the army. Stop talking bollocks. This is why the army's screwed. This is why we haven't got an army. This is why for everyone that joins three leave, because they're sick of this bullshit. It's supposed to be hierarchical. That's how the military works, you idiot. Somebody who goes, I don't want it hierarchical, while wearing the lieutenant's general rank on her uniform, which, of course, she earned so well. Lieutenant General Dame Sharon Nesmith, the Deputy Chief of General Staff, said in an interview that just because we have lots of rank structure doesn't mean to say we have to behave like a hierarchical way. You hypocritical brain did twat. How the fuck did you get your job? Now, normally I would, you know, I'd, I'd have a bit of swearing, but this just makes my blood boil because can you genuinely not see the fucking issue? She's saying we've got a rank structure which is hierarchical, but it shouldn't be hierarchical, so why the fuck bother? Let's everybody just be whatever they want. I could just walk in the army and call myself Major General Hap Hap and Blap. Fuck stupid bint. Lieutenant General Naismith, tipped by some as a future chief of the service, which would fuck the army up, was the author of the controversial Army Race Action Plan, which advocates easing security checks in order to drive diversity. The document, disclosed by this newspaper last week, has been denounced as a dangerous madness by former senior officers, you know, people who actually earned their ranks, and prompted a furious grant chaps to review... No... Grant Shapps is a knobhead. He has no idea what he's doing because that's what he wanted six weeks ago, but now he's changed his mind because everybody else is going, like people who used to be in the army who actually served and actually did something, going like this bean who somehow managed to wade their way up to the top, actually understand that this would cause major issues. There would be so many blue on blues, it would be painful. <sighs> Any case, he's reviewed diversity policies in the Ministry of Defence. Too late, mate. The British Army has been destroyed from the inside out. Uh, if a war starts tomorrow, we're fucked, and everybody knows it. And it's all thanks to you idiots not doing anything about this. Stop pandering. This is the problem. I've done two videos. One of them, uh, people, when they're, people uh, when they're born should have the right to vote, because I'm a fucking idiot. And then another one going on about we should accept paedophiles. In, you know, it's, it's just a sexual orientation. They don't really mean to rape your children. And now we get this. No, oh, don't worry about security checks. Just give any old, old fucking idiot a rifle and see how it works out. <sighs> Lieutenant General... Uh, sorry, not Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Sorry, too much American. Lieutenant General Naismith. I'm just going to call the uh, Bint from now on. The most senior female army officer and with overall responsibility for personnel wrote a forward the race action plan in which she stipulated its intention to secure equality of opportunity for all from day one which is why no one wants to join and everybody's leaving, you stupid bint. Last night, a former security minister said the general's involvement showed the ideas of the British Race Action Plan came right from the top of the army structure because we've been infiltrated by idiots who just want us gone. And it's not just here. I mean, the government have done nothing to this. They've just let it happen. Look at her, smiling like the complete bint that she is. 
stupid woman. Last year, she told the Centre of Army Leadership podcast her vision for, for a less hierarchical force. It doesn't just because we have a clearly defined rank structure, we don't need that structure because it's about command and leadership. It's about the binding scale of responsibility. No, it's about command and leadership. You dickhead. I mean, how the hell does she get through all the way, all the way at the rank? I mean, the thing is, she's got a crown. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, if I ever bumped into her on a base, I'd have to salute the stupid pins. Remember, I'm re I'm respecting the crown not the idiot wearing it, and that was on many occasions. I don't think this means that everything has to be done slavishly done through hierarchy. Yes, it does. That's how the British Army has worked for hundreds of years. It's been very successful. And that's why we've won many, many won conflicts that we've been involved in, because that's how it works. How the hell? How do we make sure this is not the case? Well, that's where empowerment comes in. You don't empower anyone. You don't empower soldiers. Soldiers do as they're told, yeah? Yeah, lowly private gets told by Lance Corporal, gets told by Corporal, gets told by Sergeant, get, and he goes up the ranks, and shit shuckles downwards, and you just do as you're fucking told. That's how the army works, and that's how come it's successful. She also spoke of bypassing traditional hierarchy through lateral entry, where candidates with in-demand scan skills can be recruited directly into non-junior roles. Although added that the bottom-up model was likely to remain the bedrock. Yeah, but and then you've just brought in a load of people who've got no security checks, yeah, no idea what they were. used to do. When I used to work at the airport, people used to come over from Eastern Europe here, Europe here, get a job at the airport and pass the security. I had, when I joined, I had to have a 10-year checkable work history and a counter-terrorism check. They come in from Poland, had fuck all, and got an airside pass and were working the other side of the security barriers. Yeah. As to name her most insp inspirational non-military leaders, uh, Bin said, Jacinda Ahern, the, uh, the former Prime Minister of New Zealand, who completely eviscerated her own country into the maniac that was the, the coof. Not only because I'm a fan of hers, but because she's a mum. What the fuck has that got to do with Eggy? She demonstrated her own personal leadership style, and she's playing her own track. Yeah, and butchering and insulting everybody around her, and trampling on the shoulders of her own citizens. But that's fine. So then they're like, you're just, oh, God. The team should forget their logins. She also spoke of the importance of downtime for her close team, urging them to unwind so comprehensively by the time they return from leave, they should have forgotten their logins. Are you a fucking idiot, you stupid bint? How? 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 No. What, you want them to forget their rank serial number as well? In fact, just fuck it, I can't be asked. No wonder the army's fucked. We got idiots saying, "Yeah, oh, just go and chill out and forget everything. You don't need to remember anything. You know, you've only spent years and years and years of training." The mother of two, uh, Bint, graduated from Sandhurst into Royal Signals Corps, did fuck all then in 1992, going on to serve in the Balkans, Iraq, and other operations. In 2014, she became the first woman to command a British Army brigade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah, she spoke of the sex machine counted in her early career, of learning to be authentic and finding her own way to succeed in a male-dominated environment. It's a male-dominated environment because it's something that men do very, very well. Men have been very, very good at being the hunter-gatherers and the combat units forever. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, I encountered many very well-skilled and talented women. But the simple truth of the matter is they're always going to be less. I mean, they want 40% of, of, of you know the army to be women, of which, on average, 26% of them will be off pregnant or sick. Yeah, great combat force. She's been appointed the director of personnel in 2019 and she sat on the army board. Great. Recruitment crisis, the office. Three years ago, she told a different, a different podcast how, as a brigadier, wow. So in three years, she jumped from brigadier to lieutenant general. Yeah. Mm, I wonder how she did that. She ordered her senior officer to practice laughter yoga in order to set the tone. What the fuck? Laughter yoga to set the right tone. Are you fucking... Russia, China, North Korea, just do it now, please, because we'll all be having too busy having our laughter fucking yoga to get our shit together. You as a group have infectious laughter and yoga exercises, man, to get the light in the mood. You're not supposed to lighten the mood. You're supposed to get on with the fucking job. To their absolute credit, my very male testosterone-driven command team lived in the spirit by doing their bit of their laughter. No, it's because you were the brigadier and you were in charge and they followed your fucking orders in that hierarchy that you no longer want, you bean's head. I'm not sure they would ever thank me for it. No, they probably hated your fucking guts. Let's be brutally honest, beans. 
As with the other services, the army is facing recruitment crisis, forcing leaders to question traditional practice in hope of persuading more young people to join. Yeah, come and join the army. Um, Abdul here next year has had no security checks whatsoever, and we've just given him a rifle. And let's just hope he doesn't hate you today. I will, uh, if you wonder where we're all, I will be in our little shed having fucking laughter yoga. Oh, and that's if I can remember what the fuck I'm doing here, because the boss told me to fuck off and forget everything. And you wonder why, for everyone that joins Three Leaves, if they've had to put up with this fucking ridiculous shit. However, many have warned that British public institutions are also increasingly failing to get a grip of the woke ideologies on race and inclusion, which is destroying everything. Absolutely everything. People aren't slavishly obeying. Lord West of Spithead, a former First Sea Lord and the Security Minister under Gore Brown, said, in the military, one thing we do is like a, do is we like mission command. You say to people who are going to be subordinate to you, this is what I want to achieve, and they go and do it and achieve it. Yep, that's how the fucking military works. Very effective, honed throughout millions of years, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, not that far back. Yeah, and that's how it works. And all successful militaries have worked that way. They do the same in, in the organisation all the way down mission command. So people aren't slavishly obeying. They know what their aim is, they know what their head mark is, and that's good and that's healthy. Yep, yeah, you would get told the thing and we would do it. He said that uh, for the Bint, involvement in race action plan would prove that the army's, it was the army's policy. Now they can't pretend it's some civilian down in the boondocks who made all this up. Yeah, typical good soldier there. A Whitehall source pointed to the review announced by Mr. Shapps this week saying certain things she wrote will come under all auspices of the review and whether or not it's good to use the resources. The MOD declined to comment because they're just fucked up as everybody else. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. The, the, the British Army's dead. It's led by bints like that, getting the command staff to go into laughter yoga to lighten the mood. You're a combat unit. There's nothing about lightening the mood. Lightening the mood is done with alcohol. That's how you lighten the mood when you get the chance to. Not standing in a circle doing yoga, laughing your fucking bollocks off. You laugh over a couple of good points yeah, and reflect on how shit that was before you go and do the next shit thing. I just, <sighs> this is why I'm doing these videos about the military, because this is the state we're in. We're in that state. That's how fucked up we are. I know I shouldn't swear on YouTube, but there's no other way of putting it. I'm an ex-soldier, and it... So, I mean, things like jumping from brigadier to lieutenant general in three years is just an amazing amount of things. I mean, she got the job, what, because she was skilled? No, I don't think she was skilled. That she was respected by fellow officers? No way. She got there because she was a box-ticking exercise. And now this is what happens when you put somebody... She's a post-turtle. No one knows how, she got up, how the turtle got up there, but fuck knows. She's gonna, it's just a joke. And she's going to potentially be the head of the army. There'll be fuck all. Everybody's laughing at us. So I go and say, oh, well, we might have to, you know, do conscription. We, well, we probably will because we've just not got an army anymore. It has been completely destroyed from the inside out. As a plan. We are at the point where we've already lost World War Three, and we haven't shot, fired a shot yet because we've got literally fuck all and we've got stupid bints like that in charge. I just... What's the point? What is the point? And by the way, I am not coming back and picking my rifle and my shit and kit up and fighting for you fucking idiots. Especially not if that bint's in charge. The first round I will loose off will be through the back of her head. Stupid weak leaders like that get people killed. They get people slaughtered. That's the kind of mentality they had in World War One, where it was all about their 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 philosophy, without you know, and fuck everybody else. And that's how millions died because no one would listen, because it was their philosophy that worked. <sighs> Any case, 
If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. There will be more on the military and when these stories come up, I'll bring them out for all of you for your attention because it needs to be addressed because it's just, it's frightening. When it comes to protecting the country, you need mad men, crazy men. You need mental cases to stand on that wall and repel the invaders. And what we're doing is you're rooting out those people who will be good soldiers, who will be determined defenders, and we're replacing people who will stand in a shed and have some laughter yoga with you. God, we're fucked. Whenever you catch up with this video, don't forget to have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. And with that, and as always, and before I go, don't forget the old like, share, subscribe, as it says on the bottom. I'm going to love you and leave you.